Okay, uh, Nelson Betisambe is my name. Uh, welcome to Shareability Uganda eLearning. Uh, this is my telephone number and our email uh, eLearning at shareability.net. Uh, in today's video, we are going to explain more uh, on the formula of uh, finding the surface area uh, of a cone. Uh, in this video, we shall be able to understand uh, how, does, how did the formula of the surface area uh, came about. Uh, such that when you are attempting uh, the numbers uh, concerned with the surface area you can be able to uh, solve them with confidence and get the right answer okay let's get started uh, first of all what is uh, that cone that you are talking about uh, we shall be able to understand uh, we are saying a cone is a type of a geometric shape or with a flat surface a flat surface on uh, one side uh, that taps uh, to a point on the other side that is it forms a 90 degree from the what from the center it forms a 90 degrees from the center this is what they are trying to mean uh, then uh, the cone itself has what you call a slant or a slope uh, the cone has what you call the height uh, and it also has what you call the base and in it it forms uh, a circular shape uh, which is a circle uh, that means uh, when we are dealing with uh, a, a cone, we should be aware of this. Uh, the radius, uh, which is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle at the end. Uh, the height, uh, which is the, uh, the distance from the center to the, of the circle to the top uh, of the cone. <coughs> also the slant or the slope, uh, which is the length of the edge of the circle uh, to the top of the cone. And also uh, the pi which is a mathematical symbol that is approximately 2, uh, 3.14. So in solving what you call a cone, we should be able to uh, understand uh, those terms and where uh, they do come from. Okay, uh, let's look at now uh, the formula itself. Uh, the formula of uh, the surface area of a cone uh, is given as pi rs uh, plus uh, pi r squared. And the volume is given by uh, 1 out of 3 uh, pi r squared h, uh, where our h is the height and ls is the slope or the slant, as you looked in the above diagram. So let's look at how uh, they came up with this formula of pi r s uh, plus uh, the pi r squared. Uh, let me have a drawing here of uh, our cone itself. I'm going to draw here a cone. A cone. I'm going to draw here this of a cone. Our shape of a cone. Okay, this is our shape of a what? This is our shape of a cone. This is our shape of a what? Our shape of a cone. Okay. Uh, so our shape of a cone has uh, has the height. This is the height uh, forming uh, our r, which is the radius. So we are going to name this as. Uh, our slope okay so we are also going to name this as our height uh, we are also going to name this as our radius okay this is the radius and this is going to be the base so you can see that this is our what this is our cone uh, but it is forming a variety of shapes in it uh, one we have what you call a uh, this right triangle uh, which is formed in it okay this right triangle which is already formed in it uh, with our 90 degrees so where this is going to be our height this is going to be our uh, our slant or slope and uh, this is going to be our r okay so uh, it forms this so that means uh, we should also be having the knowledge uh, to find uh, uh, to find uh, uh, the area of uh, this right triangle when given uh, where this is given by our formula which is equal to a squared plus 
b squared uh, equal to our c squared okay so now here we are going to uh, substitute in our a squared is going to be the h okay is going to be the h squared uh, plus our b which is the r squared our r squared is going to be equal to our c which is the slant so for us to find this uh, to find the slant i uh, should be able to uh, say that our s squared uh, this is the same as um, our s is going to be equal to going to be equal to this our s squared is going to be equal to h our h squared plus our r squared okay this is squared uh, but we want only s uh, for us to get our only s we shall introduce square roots uh, where this will cancel is this one and uh, this square root also is going to be here so that means uh, for us to get our slant or our slope we shall be able to use uh, this formula of the square root uh, the square root of h squared uh, plus plus our r squared okay our r squared uh, that this is going to be our formula for what uh, for our slant so sometimes you may be given uh, a number when uh, the s or the slant is not given but remember in our formula we already have uh, our pi as uh, pi r s uh, where the slant might not be given this is the formula that you can use uh, also uh, in our cone we had just extracted only one uh, shape which is a triangle uh, so here we are going to extract another one uh, which is like this uh, when you see you can see a shape like this uh, this looks like this looks like what this looks like uh, a portion of our circle if you have a circle uh, if you have a circle uh, this looks like a sector or a portion we can call it a sector can call it a what a sector okay so that means uh, when uh, finding the, the surface area of this cone uh, there is it forms this it forms this triangle uh, to help us find the what the slant or the slope and it also forms what we call a sector okay so uh, this sector when you look at this sector it forms uh, what we call uh, the circumference for us to to, to understand the distance from of this sector uh, we shall use uh, the circumference uh, where uh, we shall be able now to find out and see if we have our sector let me make it clear here if we have our sector of this kind we have our sector of this kind uh, that is our sector okay so for us uh, this is this is going to be our circumference uh, it formed the shape like that okay so uh, when it forms out this sector for us to find the circumference here uh, of course this is going to be our s uh, for us to find uh, the distance from here uh, we should also be able to have uh, the knowledge of this uh, assuming you have assuming this sector of ours is divided into uh, several sections okay several sections uh, let me uh, bisect it by two here and also here by two okay and also here by by two so this is going to be our s uh, and I come and say 
six decimals. Now I'm going to get uh, these sections uh, one by one together. I say this is going to be our first portion. Uh, let me name this as the first, and this one as the second, this one as the third, uh, this one as the fourth one, okay? So I'm going to show you how uh, we came up with the other formula uh, using this method. Uh, this is our first sector, which is like this. Okay. Uh, then uh, we have the second one. The second one, which is forming this shape. Uh, which is forming this shape. Okay, this is one. Uh, this is the two. Uh, we are also going to have our three here. Uh, which is forming this shape. Uh, we are going to name this as our three. Then we are going to have our four, which is okay. This is going to be our what? Our four. Uh, assuming I had some more, some more here, some more two here. Okay, I had some more two here uh, because this was a sector and this becomes five, uh, six, okay. So I could include it here. Uh, this was four, this was going to be our five. And this is, this is five. This is going to be our what? Our six. Okay, so uh, we have been able to form now uh, uh, this sector. We have split it and it is now in the form of this. A square, uh, this is our S, our slope, and this is our what? This is our slope. And uh, now, uh, here we know from 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 the circles where we have uh, this as our pi uh, that means uh, this also forms uh, a shape like this okay it forms a shape like this this is a shape which is formed where this is our slant uh, now if we have if this was our pi and also this was our what uh, pi. Why are we using? Why are we bringing our pi uh, from uh, from the circumference of this being a what? Being uh, a sector. So this simply means uh, here uh, we are going to get to what? Two pi. Okay, here we're going to get our two pi. And uh, now for us to find the area of this. Of this, uh, we shall be able to 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 see uh, this form. We, this see uh, this shape, which is already formed, is our what is our triangle. Okay, we have been we have been able to form our triangle in this, and this is pi, and this is pi. And then from our formula, which is the, the formula of area, which is the, the length times the width. Okay. Uh, now this gives us our length which is the pi remember these sides are equal and these sides are what are equal so this means we shall be able to come up with uh, our area our area here being equal to uh, being equal to pi times pi times our slant okay okay this is going to be uh, from the area of our circle our or the circumference which is pi r uh, so here it is going to be our it's going to be pi pi r times our s okay so here have been have been able to come up with one of them uh, so also in this in this cone uh, the cone here this cone you are seeing this cone you are seeing uh, there is this part which is a circle uh, the part which is a circle in the cone okay this 
this part you are seeing which is a circle which is here okay this is what is formed where we have our center here and the radius which is r the radius which is r so uh, here we shall be also be able to uh, state our formula as uh, area of a circle being equal to uh, for area of a circle is equal to pi r squared pi r squared okay uh, where r is our radius now uh, from this you can be able to uh, you can be able to see that we, we got our we got our our formula uh, from a cone itself and our area and our formula from from the circle so that means when you are calculating a cone you should be able to separate uh, at the circle and the sector so this derives us to our formula when you uh, get the cone itself with our area which is uh, area is equal to pi rs and uh, the area of the circle which is separated from this cone which is equal to uh, pi r squared that means in simple term for us to get the surface area of this of this cone we shall be able to say our surface area our surface our surface area our surface our surface area which is s a I'm naming it to be S A will be equal to I'm calling it S A that is surface area which will be equal to our our formula for the circle that we separated from the cone which is pi r squared which is pi r squared and uh, then times and uh, then plus we shall add because this was part of this was part of uh, the cone then we shall add it uh, plus our pi pi r s where s is our slope so uh, this is how we can come up uh, or how they came up with the formula of uh, the surface area of a cone now here we can be able to substitute in uh, when we are given a cone or we can now be able to, to find out uh, a slope if it is a lot given uh, in your uh, practice questions okay so simply that's how we can uh, find uh, the area of the surface uh, of the sur I mean the area of the surface area of a cone uh, in simple term okay for this uh, to make a recap of what I have talked about we are trying to see how we can find uh, the step by step how they got the area of a what the area of a cone which is pi r s plus pi r squared okay so we came up with this uh, that when you are not given the slant or the slope uh, we can use this method called the Pythagorean theorem uh, which is a squared plus b squared equal to our c squared uh, then uh, we solved this we say a, a, r square h our a is going to be our h our r is going to be uh, our b then our s which is the slope or the slant is going to be our s squared okay so we also splitted uh, our cone into uh, different shapes where we got uh, a right what a right triangle uh, that we also have to know uh, we extract this right triangle for us to have to help us calculate the a slope or the slant uh, we went ahead and said uh, that uh, for us to uh, calculate our cone we should be able to understand uh, the part which is up uh, that is a sector and forming its uh, forming uh, forming its area uh, such that the area we get uh, the area we get of the area that we get which is of uh, uh, the sector then we shall add it to uh, the what the circle which is formed within the sector okay so we are able to get our area as a pi rs uh, then our area of the circle as 
pi r squared are giving us a formula of pi r squared plus pi r s. Okay, so that's how we can find uh, uh, the area, or that's how we can explain uh, the formula of the area of a cone. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video tutorial. Please be able to uh, check on our playlist or be able to subscribe, like, uh, for you to get more upcoming uh, lessons on all subjects. Have a good moment.